since you click on this video, I suppose you like classic Doom. And this is what happens to your eyes every time you see the very sexy 2D sprites. Well, I'm the same as you, you cultured son of a- Anyway, what if I tell you that you can also enjoy the third dimension with the following classic Doom mods? Are you curious on why the developers went on doing sprites instead of 3D? Then, with just one quick glimpse on this mod, will make all your questions in your mind fade away. Because if not, just look at these majestic beings. Why would someone do this? What the hell? Back in the good old days, arena shooters dominated the gaming scene. Quake, Unreal Tournament, and of course, Classic Doom. Then this guy suddenly showed up and change first-person shooters forever while everyone is waiting for the next half-life and pray every day to the lord and savior some mother says fine i'll do it myself you know what we will do it ourselves half-life in doom engine then april came along and another mother says you know what half-life Eternal. If you think this is something unacceptable, yet so enjoyable, oh boy, then this mod will surely blow your mind. Except from my suffering potato PC, everyone likes this mod, and the creator of this mod doesn't care about copyright strikes. You know why? Just look at these models. This is from Resident Evil 5, but with the power of modding, somehow, it was inserted inside GC Doom. Well, if you thought it's the scrape from Killing Floor 2, you're right. And also, you're wrong. Because this is still GZ Doom. This is one heck of a mod. A prime example of how to do 3D models inside Classic Doom. And you know what? Let me slap a seal of approval on this one. It's so good. Since we are talking about 3D mods in Classic Doom, somehow this modder didn't just stop on making a mod, but instead made a whole game that can even rival some ah uh, games, complete with an interesting story, amazing game mechanics, and an unbelievable graphics for its engine. Since I have plenty of seals left, let's slap another seal of approval in this one hell of a mod. I know this is a Doom mod channel, so forgive me if I talk about this Hexen mod, because it's so beautiful. How did they manage to make these amazing 3D models inside GZ Doom is beyond my tiny puny brain to comprehend. Just like in Painkiller, everyone likes this mod, except for my PC, which is already life support. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. Here's another seal of approval. Now, let's try a mod that my already burning PC can actually handle. For those ancient gods out there, remember Quake? Yeah, Quake inside Classic Doom. Eat Software would be proud. You know that you're doing a great job 
when a gaming company orders you to stop continuing your project. Unlike the first 3D mod in this video, this one is way more advanced. Just look at this amazing lighting effects. This is way before the RTX crap was invented. So if you want to experience classic Doom, this is not a bad way to go. This one gets a well-deserved seal of approval for the internet drama of course that would go down to the history of Doom mods. This is not exactly a gameplay mod, but a Half-Life beta map rendition in GZ Doom Engine. And as I mentioned earlier, my PC is already in life support for making this video. My apologies if I cannot give you my first-hand experience. But you can check out this video to learn more if you're interested. This is a video about 3D mods for classic Doom, yet why am I showing you the first stage of Doom 2? Look closer, I'll give you a few seconds to observe. If you aren't able to notice any difference, then let me show you how amazing this mod is. Oh my god! Wow! This is the perfect way to render classic sprites in 3D without losing its authenticity. Even the jibs of the corpses and the pickups are in voxels. This is just perfect. I cannot sing any more praises about this mod. This gets a well-deserved seal of approval. It's just simply amazing. I might be cheating in my own video if I add this mod to the list. Yet, I personally think this mod deserved the spot. Even though this mod consists of traditional sprite-based models, there are 3D weapons and monsters as well. So if you are only allowed to download a single mod for Classic Doom, you can cheat the system by playing this mod. This mod gets a well-deserved seal of approval for being one of the most content-rich mod I've ever played. If you somehow enjoyed this video, help me reach more viewers by giving it a like, dislike, comment, you know the drill. And for more Doom action, you know the right place. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.